All right, after Telefero, Mr. Telefero TV, all right, very unfortunate situation that has taken place. All right, for, for those who don't know, Jim Jones did an interview with Funk Flex, and um, honestly, I believe it's Funk Flex's best interview in years, literally his best interview that I've seen from him, at least in years, all right? And Jim Jones in the interview is talking about signing with Rock Nation. That's the, the, the premise of the interview. That's why he's there. But let's just be honest. That interview was bound to talk about Cameron and Dipset from the beginning. And that's what happened. Funk Flex asked him to pretty much tell us his beginning and tell us everything that happened. What's going on and, and why did the relationship go south? And Jim Jones was more than candid. Um, the only annoying thing is that there's his people are talking in the background. Very annoying, by the way, when you're in an interview and people won't shut up. Just some personal stuff. But anyways, in the midst of the interview... Most of it's about Cameron and, and Jim Jones. And by the way, it's an hour and 26 minutes long. It's just a good, great interview. You got to check it out. I'll put the link, Hot 97 YouTube channel of the Funk Flex and Jim Jones interview. And and and, and, and Jim Jones is opening up about Cameron. And I'll be honest with you. He's not saying a whole lot of negative towards the beginning of the interview. He's not saying a, lo a whole lot of negative. He's like, man, I, I, Cameron was the best rapper. We was just, Jim Jones was like, I was just around to make sure Cameron wasn't touched. Cameron this, Cameron that. Cameron used to have the flies Bentleys. Cameron used to be the one that helped us with our rhymes. Cameron was the one who made this deal for us. So Jim Jones was actually got emotional. Jim Jones actually started crying in the interview. He was like, man, it hurts when your brother or somebody like that, you know, pretty much y'all can't get on the same page. You know, it's money, money this, money that, and you let money come between you and the loyalty there. First and foremost, some people going to call out Jim Jones for crying on an interview, but most of you niggas, you new niggas don't understand what it is when you really ride for somebody. I only understand it to a certain extent. When you, It's two things. When you really ride for somebody and you dedicate your life to somebody else, and they and they treat you like crap. And B, when you in a situation where you really didn't do nothing not wrong to one of your partners, and they blame you for some ish that ain't even got nothing to do with you. All right, I've been in a situation B more than I've been in a situation A, and it, it, it can make you emotional. I mean, it's some real shit, right? It's some real shit. Jim Jones literally talked about how Cameron put them in position. All right, Cameron making the deal with Biggie. Biggie got killed. Then Biggie's best friend still saying that they were gonna give him a damn deal. And then the Cameron and Damn Dad situation, everything. And Jim Jones was like, bro, at the beginning, Cameron was our guy. He was our money maker. We made sure Cameron wasn't touched. And Jim Jones got emotional about it. I don't think anything is wrong with that. But I want you guys to check out this interview because Cameron. He took this Instagram account. Y'all know how Cameron is. Y'all know his swag. Y'all know his style. He's just that dead dude. Like him and Dame Dash are just those guys who just, y'all know it. It's an NYC thing. Is Cameron Harlem? It, 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 it feels like a Harlem thing, right? Um, Cameron took this, his, his Instagram account and said, I'm going to go live tomorrow night at 9 p.m. I ain't going to be crying either. All right? That's some more New York shit. And he was like, he was traveling today. So, you know, because crying doesn't mean that the truth, the, the story is true, right? So you can Google what I'm talking about while I'm talking, because crying doesn't mean it's the truth. That's what, what Cameron said in words, right? He was pretty much saying, Jim Jones can cry all he wants to, but he's not saying factual information about the situation. I thought this was a low blow, and this might mean that Cameron and Jim Jones might not ever get back on the same page. And Dipset and Jewels, and by the way, shout out to Jewels. I don't think it will ever be what it was. That was a low blow. I didn't like that. It just was a low blow, but it wouldn't be any other way dealing with Cameron. It's just his personality, his swag. So check out, this is kind of just letting y'all know that Cameron is going live on Instagram tomorrow uh, to address Jim Jones. It's going to be, I'm going to do coverage on it. By the way, I turned 23 in two days, so I'll be moving a lot. I'll try to keep you guys up to date as possible. Um, my website relaunches in a few weeks, a couple weeks. It's mentalt.com. Thank y'all for the time, love, support. Don't take it for granted. Um, talk to me about this this interview when y'all watch it. Put y'all comments in and tell me what y'all think about the interview. Again, tell me what y'all think about Cameron still not having no sympathy for Jim. Thank y'all for the time, love, support. I don't take it for granted. Salute. I'm out. If you're looking to book me for an interview video or by phone, if you're looking to have your music or your skill featured on my daily podcast, if you're looking to book me for a speaking engagement to help motivate some kids, if you're looking to have me rock some of your clothing to help promote your brand, Make sure you hit me up at booking at Again, that's booking at